everybody. Welcome to Corrections, week of July 12th. I double-checked that to make sure it was right, because last time we did this, I opened by saying welcome to Corrections, week of Monday, June 24th. It was Thursday, June 24th. And that is the fastest mistake I've ever made <laughs> in a Corrections. I mean, that's embarrassing. That's like if the minute the Kentucky Derby started, one of the horses exploded. <laughs> but we got it right. Also, you might have noticed from the title card, uh, this is now an Emmy-nominated piece of television content. Uh, that is not a joke. It sounds like a joke. <laughs> it is not a joke. And uh, this is also not a joke. And I mean it sincerely. I could not have done this without you. We share this honor. Uh, because I think you know that without you, there's no corrections. This was a team effort. And I also want you to know that if we should win, all the rhetoric about it being a team effort right out the window. <laughs> it is mine and mine alone. And oh, I'm going to lord it over you. Oh, you'll be giving me your corrections, and I'll be like, what? <laughs> Finland doesn't have mountains? I can't hear you over my Emmy. <laughs> and if I lose, I will say it was stolen. I'm getting the whole, I'm getting uh, Sidney Powell, Giuliani. We will rain hell down upon the Academy. Uh, it is a, out, it's an outstanding short form drama, uh, comedy, or variety, which I feel like we tick all those boxes. <laughs> I feel like there's a little of each in here. Um, as with a lot of corrections, we have to clean up stuff from previous corrections. We've talked a lot about how or whether or not roosters can blink or wink. I'm just realizing that maybe people who had never watched Corrections and are now tuning in because it's Emmy nominated are like, Defa? <laughs> but yeah, no, Rooster's Blinking has been like a multi episode arc. Uh, they have a membrane that wipes the dust, like a clear membrane. I called it a, a nictating membrane. It's nictitating. Nictitating. And I cannot tell you, you know, sometimes there's one thing that maybe one of you catches. A hundred people pointed out that I got it wrong. And I, you know, obviously, I don't need to tell you, I'd never heard of it, and yet so many of you know about, uh, you know, chicken's eyes. <laughs> and this is a real shame on me, but, like, I think I've always kind of, like, thought of our audience as metropolitan and, you know, urban, and you're farm people, you know? <laughs> You're watching this, you know, with uh, you got like an iPhone in one hand and you're just like throwing, the other hand's like throwing seed to your livestock. <laughs> and I worry about your livestock because they live with <laughs> jackals. <laughs> uh, Bjork, this is, again, Bjork has been famous for so long and I'm, I was told by a lot of people, I said it wrong. And sometimes when people tell me how to say it, it's not helpful because it's, I'm, you know, I have to read their pronunciation. And so I found a, a video of a Icelandic, uh, Icelandic, an Icelander. I don't, there's probably a word and I only wish we had an infrastructure where you could tell me what that word was. <laughs> um, he said, I watched a video where he said, I think it's closer to Björk. So I'm sure that's not quite right, but it's definitely not Björk. And then we also said, when we mentioned it, that Jork was an Icelandic word for joke about Bjork. And then someone said, well, if the J in Bjork is silent, silent, it wouldn't be Jork, it would be York. Sure. <laughs> but you're being a Yerk. The hardest part about this is that, you know, 
got to read all the comments. You know, you got to mine the comments to find the corrections. And sometimes you're going to find some, some people who maybe just don't like the show. But there was an exchange that I, I really greatly enjoyed, uh, which is someone, and by the way, I celebrate that this show is not for everybody. Someone wrote, this guy is so bad, the audience doesn't want to laugh at his jokes. And then very kindly, someone responded to that and said, he doesn't have an audience at the moment. And then the first person wrote back, that's a sad excuse. <laughs> I'm like, it might be, <laughs> it might be sad that we don't have an audience, but it's a airtight excuse <laughs> for why people aren't laughing. <laughs> why didn't Kevin come to my birthday party? He's dead. Okay. <laughs> also, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Look, I get that maybe you think, like, these jokes aren't funny. Do you really think I'm doing it for 180 people right now? And they're all just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what? This, is, this would be the funniest show in the world to be watching right now if there were 180 people. I'm in this Monday. We don't have audiences back until the fall. I'm, not, I'm on Monday. I'm going to be like, we're so happy our audience is back, and then I'm just going to do the show. What is the war what would the warm-up comedian have to say? <laughs> is it like the bus from speed rules? Like if we go under 50 or one of you make some sound. <laughs> uh, we've definitely learned if we're gonna make a mistake, don't make it in writing. Like I can sometimes make a flub and get it through, but uh, if we make a mistake in, in a graphic, uh, you guys go over it like it's the Zaprutter film. Don't take the bait. <laughs> so we had a driver's license of a cockroach. And uh, the birthday was uh, August 18th, 2019, and someone said, cockroaches can't live longer than a year. That cockroach would be dead. And uh, I, that, well, I'm not going to argue with the science of that. Anybody who is bold enough to write that in corrections obviously knows what they're talking about when it comes to the lifespan of cockroaches. I do think they live longer in New York. <laughs> you know? I had a... Um, this year, in my kitchen, I saw a cockroach that was wearing a hat that said, Vote Dinkins. <laughs> We also, then we, <laughs> we had a, another driver's license of a cicada, and uh, someone pointed out that the cicadas, uh, <laughs> the height of the cicada was, was one foot 11 inches. And it, uh, and it weighed uh, two ounces. And they said, why was the height uh, in, in imperial and the weight was in metric? And all I know is we're going to find out and heads are going to roll. Because that's one of the hard, fast rules here. It's not to mix those up. Uh, we had a, uh, a key photo of me getting an appendectomy. Um, can we look at that real quick? Uh, <laughs> again, so many people said that's definitely not where that incision would be. I'm saying we got like a hundred of those. And then one guy said, uh, CDC rules, you'd be wearing a mask. <laughs> All right, we talked about, we said Alice Cooper uh, bit the head off a chicken. And, and someone came at us pretty hard and said we conflated two things. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off a bat. Alice Cooper threw a chicken into the crowd, and the crowd tore uh, the chicken apart. And once again, I'm fairly confident that was written by a stepdad. <laughs> Alice Cooper bit the head off a chicken. Oh, uh, guys? Uh, that is absolutely not the case. Dave, get out of here! Just don't want you to embarrass yourself. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends right now. Ozzy bit 
the head off a bat. That Ozzy's got to live that down. Cooper didn't, man. Cooper threw a chicken into the crowd. They tore it apart. That's all that happened. Why do I care? Because you're going to get sued for libel. If Alice Cooper hears you saying that, it's slander if you say it. You seen the new modern drover? <laughs> Liederman's on the cover, pretty cool. <laughs> it's a big deal, dude. Uh, we said that uh, the CEO of Subway stands behind his tuna, and then we said he stays downwind. Uh, we should have said upwind. We heard that a lot. You know, the premise being you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to smell it. Um, ooh, we said um, that I guess fish now can get uh, addicted to stuff in the water like crystal meth. And uh, then we showed a picture of a shark with no teeth. And then I said... It wasn't written, but I said, oh, I know, a shark's not a fish. Um, worried that I would be corrected, because that's how in my head you have me. And then a lot of you said, uh, no, a, a shark is a fish. But you, I mean, you could hear yourself saying that, though, right? <laughs> um, but then this, I, I, I wanted to print this out and get this exactly right, because this is uh, something somebody wrote about this question about, is a shark a fish? It says, not a correction, per se, but a fun fact about fish, fish are not a taxonomic group the way vertebrates or mammals are because the group does not include all the descendants of a common ancestor. If it did, all reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals would also be considered fish because all are descended from an ancient lobe-finned fish called Sarcopterygi. Fish is just a term of convenience to refer to a diverse group of swimming aquatic organisms and not to uh, correct a corrector, but I don't think that's a fun fact. <laughs> um, we, uh, we talked uh, this week about how Monday was the 20th anniversary of when myself and Amy Poehler uh, auditioned to be on SNL. And so it is now, um, I'm coming up on 20 years in the building, which is, uh, which is surreal. Uh, I have the same ID. It is, uh, I am a baby. Um, when you look at my first ID, it just, I'm a kid. <laughs> First, the first thing Lauren said is, we're, we're going to get your teeth fixed. <laughs> this, is, um, this is really exciting. Um, we have a prop budget now. We got Emmy nominated, and they said you can do props and corrections. I said, we have a props budget? They said, prop. <laughs> and I said, can I keep this? And they're like, nope. Got to give it back. And I'm like, why? They said, we were going to melt it down. Last night, uh, so 20 years ago, uh, I met Mike Shoemaker. And uh, obviously, we, we've talked a lot about uh, our friendship. And uh, last night, he and I uh, went out to dinner and had a, a very nice night talking about how lucky we've been. And um, I make fun of Mike. I'm not going to do the voice today because, uh, you know, the category we're nominated for is also drama. <laughs> and we, um, Mike Shoemaker is uh, the gateway to everything good I have known in show business. And we rewarded ourselves last night. You know, we don't usually go out to fancy dinners, but we went to 11 Madison Park, which is a very uh, fancy, but incredible meal. And when it was over, uh, he said, why do you think I because he had suggested it. Why do you think I wanted to go to 11 Madison Park? And I said, I don't know. He goes, the 11's the important thing. And I said, is it because our friendship is an 11 out of 10? 
And he said, no. And then he just slowly did this. <laughs> It just like just held it there a really long time. <laughs> Drama, comedy, variety. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Well, I think we've done it again, and we will be back next week. This was corrections. <laughs>